With a Tesla Model 3 launch date just under five days from now, Tesla will soon offer a total of three different models to customers around the world, with the Model 3 offering the most affordable entry-level price point of any Tesla to date. So right now, Tesla's made some tweaks to the rest of the Tesla lineup. Before Model 3 came along, the most affordable Tesla you could buy brand new was an entry-level Model S with rear-wheel drive. Over the past five years of production, as the Model S has aged and the Tesla battery pack technology has improved, the battery pack capacity and thus range of that entry-level rear-wheel drive Model S has jumped, going from an initial 40 kilowatt hours to 60 kilowatt hours and more recently, 75 kilowatt hours. Similarly, though, the price point has jumped too, rising 10,000 US dollars over the past 10 years from the original 57,400 US dollar price tag for the Model S 40 to 67,500 US dollars for the Model S 75. Now, with the Model 3 about to drop the entry level price point for a Tesla down to $35,000 and the entry level Model S 75 not being that popular, Tesla has announced it will cease production of the Model S 75 by the end of this year. This makes the most affordable Model S you can buy from that point on the $74,500 US dollar dual motor all-wheel drive Tesla Model S 75D, assuming of course that Tesla doesn't do anything else to its lineup. There's also been a small change to Tesla's stock configuration on its Model S and Model X too, with Tesla adding autopilot engagement onto the gear selector stalk as if it was a new gear beyond drive, exactly as seen on several recently built Model 3 prototypes. At the same time, Tesla has announced that all of the seats in all of its cars from this point on will be vegan, a little victory for longtime Tesla fans and investors who have for years been asking Tesla to ditch leather on its vehicles and offer a vegan alternative instead. Finally, there have been a few tweaks too to what's standard for Model S and Model X. For example, Model S and X now come with premium LED lights as standard, they used to be an extra, as well as an air suspension across the board. Other packages have been tweaked a little too, the premium package for example, but I'm not going to go into all of them here in the interests of brevity. So what do these little changes mean for you? Well, that does depend rather on where you sit in Tesla's customer world. Deletion of the Model S 75 first. If you're looking for an entry-level Tesla and have decided that the Model 3 isn't for you because of its size or perhaps lack of hatchback, I personally discounted the Model 3 a long time ago as I have dogs and need a hatchback, wagon or SUV style load bay area, you'll have to save up a little more to get into the Model S family. Either that, or if you're really committed to Tesla, look for a used Model S that fits your budget. As to autopilot tweaks for Model S and Model X, well, that's more of an evolutionary rather than revolutionary change, and I hope it should make it absolutely clear to drivers how to engage and disengage autopilot. The moving autopilot engagement to the gear selector is especially good though for Tesla, as I think the old arrangement, double tapping on the cruise control stalk, is the reason several Tesla owners managed to crash their cars thinking it was in autopilot mode when it wasn't. Sure, it will take some getting used to for existing owners switching onto newer vehicles, but I for one think this move is a smart one. As for the vegan interior, well, that's a smart move for Tesla full stop, as it wants to be known as an environmentally responsible and ethical automaker. In keeping with some other premium automakers, Tesla's seat options are based on various synthetic leathers looking forwards, which should have a lower carbon footprint and no animal products involved. A perfect choice for those who don't want to sit on Daisy every time they get in the car. Of course, these kind of unannounced overnight changes to vehicle specs have become the norm for Tesla over the past five years or so, but these particular changes show how hard Tesla is working to keep its customers happy while simultaneously saving money by reducing the number of options on its cars and using more standardized parts across its entire range. Given the monumental task that lies ahead of Tesla, reaching profitability while simultaneously churning out high volumes of electric cars and clean energy products, Tesla needs to save every penny it can. So if you're about to order a Tesla, bear these little changes in mind, and if you want that rear-wheel drive Model S, the clock is most certainly ticking. That's it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bar and click the Patreon link at the end of this video if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving!